for. No, no. That's all we need. We're live. We're live. Hey, we're live. Hey, folks, we're live. It's Sunday. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc., the Margu slash tri generational campaign. Glad to have you with us. If this is your first time, welcome aboard. If you've been here before, you're in for another treat. Maybe, maybe not. I might screw this up. It's <laughs> really hard to say. Uh, folks, this is uh, D&D 5th Edition with three generation of players. We're short two players for right now. We anticipate them coming up here, but that's okay. We can handle it without them. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy cool stuff like a shirt or a bath mat or a shower curtain, Hit our store. Uh, most importantly, if you want to be on the talk shows on Tuesday, this Tuesday is an Iron DM episode, or the one shots next Saturday, uh, hit us up, mhobo inc, Gmail or Twitter. We will get you on the show. Uh, also, thanks uh, and shout out to our sponsors, uh, Pirate Dog Dice. If you want any custom dice, hit them up on Twitter at Pirate Dog Dice. And of course, if your game stinks, not like ours, because uh, ours smells like freaking roses and candy bars. But mm -hmm. if your game stinks, try a little Adventure Sense from oddfishgames.com. Uh, they make a plethora of different scents that will enhance your gaming experience at the table. Not so much virtually, so that just means you gotta spend the extra coin to make sure everybody has some. Uh, and if you wanna learn much more better how to write, R-I-G-H-T, uh, look up their shine system on at oddfishgames.com. It will walk you through step by step. Folks, as I said, this is the Margu slash tri-generational campaign. Uh, let's introduce you to the people who will make you laugh, groan, and say, what the fuck are they doing? Uh, we will start off with Robert of Zeppelin, a.k.a. Frank. Frank, tell us about you. Tell us about your character. Well, I'm Frank. I'm the metal Frank. I'm a terror to this family, and I'm looking to freeze myself in this frame, if it's happened, because that's what happens. And I play Robert Zeppelin. The wonderful bard of uh, bardism and uh, sorcerer of fire and everybody must die and everything must burn. Leave no witnesses. Play on. Uh, that moves us to the youngest player, Little Frank. Little Frank, who are you? Who do you play? Uh, hi, I'm Man Frank. I got this special dice because I'm a special boy. Real special, real special. Helmet special. <laughs> Your rolls stink on ice. <laughs> These are the only things that will keep me alive throughout this entire game now. It's the only thing. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> what yeah. are you playing? What are you playing? I'm playing a bard. A bard. You're playing a bard too, huh? Yeah, I'm playing bard wow. too. So bard. Man Fang, the scholarly bard. Diplomat. <laughs> you, you've seen his uh, intelligence role, so... That makes sense on that response. You know what? Just make fun of me. Oh, we got it. We got we got that handled. But who are you playing? Fighter. <laughs> okay. I was just in a... Why is it only your name? Because I'm special and you weren't here last time. That's true. Hey, I had to do some business. Who are you, Frank? What are you? I am fighter who likes to fight with his great axe. A lot of the time. Very smart. Very, very smart. What do you mean? Handsome. 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 Handsome diplomatic. Yeah. Charismatic. Special in every Which way, shape, or form. You would want in anybody. Uh, next up is AJ. AJ, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. Uh, my name is AJ, and I am playing Felix the Great. And I am uh, currently being taken by a ride. <laughs> taken for a ride. By a lovely lady. Is it Florence Henderson? Here's the story. <laughs> Let me just get it. A lovely lady. Yes. <laughs> a lovely lady. Uh, he do. He got it. I do. I know Florence Henderson. <laughs> uh, you survived my mouth t-shirt. <laughs> so Felix, can we just refer to you as Greg? <laughs> Greg? <laughs> Why do I have to be Greg? Uh, uh, <laughs> the rumors. Uh, Felix, Felix, <laughs> Felix, what are you? I am a rogue and a druid. Very good. A human rogue druid. Next up is our senior statesman, Frank Senior. Who are you? Who are you playing? I am Leaf the Lucky Druid. 
lucky I get to spend my Sunday afternoons with <laughs> you guys. You need to look up dictionary.com and put in lucky because I don't like that's what that's going to be. <laughs> I'm going to go up into Wikipedia and just change whatever the hell they put in there. Okay, it, uh, will it have our pictures? Yeah. Or will it have their pictures? Well, it'd probably be a three legged dog with one eye. You know, I found a two-legged horse that I almost went ahead and used as the advertisement today. Spoiler alert, I oh. can't tell you why. <laughs> buttercup! Oh, buttercup! No! Uh, I, I think better for the no-legged horse that rode on top of another horse, like a double-decker horse. <laughs> I'm thinking buttercup with a little flava bean. That that could work, or at least ale, something something to wash it all down. Little Chianti. Um, that's right. Next up is Jason, if he can hear us. Jason, who are you? Who are you playing? I'm playing Copious Full Bitters the Third, the Gnome Witch and Brewmaster, and the uh, uh, not particularly good field agent uh, tracker or bounty hunter evader, apparently. Hey, this I got just struck me. I gotta ask: Does that mean there's two more of you out there? Uh, well, there's actually about 796 other oh bull bidders out there. God, it's a very large clan. Pretty sure I see the vein on Robert of Zeppelin's head. It's just a, that's a pure in. case of non-selective breeding right there. There's wow. if you go if you go visit the community where we're all from, there's the Volbitters First National, Volbitters uh Ironmongery, the Volbitter, I mean the whole town. So Parent I guess that family tree looks like that vine that goes up there to where them giants live. It was very, very similar. Am I the only one thinking blazing saddles? <laughs> I was thinking more of uh uh, full metal jacket, wondering if the best part of those bull bitters ran down the crack of their mama's ass. What's this? Hey, hey, for hey. mature audiences. Hey, PG thirteen. Uh, Jason, will Nicholas be joining us? Yes, I just was trying to get his attention, so he he no was problem. trying to log in. Uh, let let me try this again. I've done it before. Uh, my name is Nicholas, and I play Haggis Crapstain. The grad that, 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 that is it. So that, when he when he pops up, that is actually, who he is. That was a little more emotional than he normally gets. That, that is true. I need to yeah, yeah. scale that uh, up. Uh, crab stick. There you <laughs> uh, go. Folks, as I said, this is the tri-generational campaign. These guys have uh, tried to spend the night in a quality establishment. Uh, two members, Le Leaf and Copious. We're all for it. Got fantastic rooms. Uh, the others, uh, they wanted to sample the local flavor. Uh, unfortunately for two of them, uh, Robert and Felix, they fell into league with a ranger named Dalton. Uh, this female half-orc is a little bit on the brutish side and used her wily feminine charms on Felix the Great to trick him into getting tied up because... Dalton is a bounty hunter, and she has a wanted poster of all these guys wanted in Craigwich for, well, we don't really know, but we can assume probably everything. Uh, she attempted to obtain Haggis Crabstain into her stable of men, uh, but failed. So she has taken off with Felix thrown over the back of a horse with everybody else in fresh pursuit, not as a whale because we determined that polymorphing into a whale would probably not help. Uh, we rejoined the group with Felix getting jostled around. Uh, the bonds on your hands are becoming chafed, uh, and you notice the speed at which you are traveling is pretty excessive. What would you like to try and do? Uh, jump off the horse. I'm not. I'm afraid to jump off the horse. Uh, do it. Is it going fast enough that if I were to jump off the horse, I would look like I'll get injured badly? Combat? No, no. De no. Define badly. Well, I mean, a hero like me, Felix the Great, I can take a couple of beatings. I got full health. Yeah, let's give it a try. I'm going to try to jump off the horse. I'm going to jump off the horse and stab himself on a stick. I'm going to roll. I'm going to tuck and roll. Actually, wait, wait, wait. No, I want to, I want to try to break through the bonds first. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, you are tied up. So go ahead and give me a 
I don't know. Let's do sleight of hand on the bonds to see if you can yes. uh, do anything. How about a 23? 23 means that uh, you managed to uh, get a little slack in that rope and you're starting to wiggle your hand free. D12 against me. 11. 11 as well. Reroll. That red redemption part. Or does she back Four. it? Yeah. Uh, you managed to get one hand free, uh, touch the flank of the horse, and you hear a scream from your captor. Uh, and there is a sudden collision. Uh, you are thrown from the horse, and you sustain... Broken arm. Five, five, and five. 15 hit points of damage and go oh, rolling no, off the was castrated by the root? <laughs> well, the, it was tied on by that. So oh he was tied God. onto the saddle oh by that. Oh, my God. Have you ever seen a testicle unravel down somebody's leg? I have seen no, it. No, but I'm afraid it was down. <laughs> a scrotal tear is murder. It's not funny at all, unless it's happening to somebody else. Like Felix. <laughs> like Felix, yes. Uh, 15 hit points, you roll into a bush uh, as you regain your senses. That's what got him into this. <laughs> that is what got me into this mess. <laughs> that is true. Uh, remember, it is dark, uh, but go ahead and roll perception. Try to be quiet while you're in mortal pain. As we all know, it's not a full moon anymore, but there's a little Natural 20. Moon. Natural 20. You notice that the horse that you were riding on is overturned and is a human body that you believe human pinned underneath it. Three other humanoid-esque figures stand around it and begin to scream. Uh, Dalton looks around quickly. Uh, the Individuals are angry, and she bolts off, continuing westbound. Do you want to make any noise and attract the attention of these three individuals and the fourth one pinned under the horse, or do you want to try and be quiet? Uh, I think I want to be quiet. Why would I not want to be quiet? That's true. Uh, you hear the lamentations of these individuals as they speak common with a kind of distinct... Scottish accent, a lot of Sean Connery's running around here. Uh, and they work together as you peer through the branches and attempt to lift the horse off of their fallen comrade. <laughs> that, that, that is a perfect mental image right there. Uh, give me a um, stealth check. Make sure you aren't rattling around. A seven. Uh, the bush that you are in is a thorny bush, and one of those thorns punctures your pantaloons, and you eke out a response. Uh, the three individuals look over in your direction and appear to have something in their hand as they move towards you. Well, it looks uh, like, yep, they're going to beat him with sticks. I'm going to reach for my mermaid dagger and say something <laughs> to them. <laughs> something. I Some, don't know what. Something will work. Well, I'll well, say something along the lines of, we need to get out of here because she's going to come back. Oh, they, they will demand to know who said that. Meanwhile, back on the trail... Uh, I believe the fastest one was the bird, right? Was it the bird or the white stallion over there, Leaf the Lucky? Well, he was, drag <laughs> he was dragging Buttercup along with him, so he's not going to be the fastest. I'll, I'll go ahead and rule that Leaf and the other guy, that's a nice touch, Manfang, uh, arrive at the top of a hill, and you guys notice a disturbance <laughs> down in the veil. Uh, you can tell. Uh, give me perception checks, Man Fang and Leaf. Get your dice. You don't roll these. Twenty-one. I want to curse your dice. But, no. Yes. Eleven. Perception though, so it's fifteen. Fifteen. So, Man Fang, you notice three humanoid-esque individuals on the trail in the dim moonlight. Leaf, you notice three humanoid figures and a downed horse in the moonlight. Uh, turning around, you hear Copius and uh, Haggis 
coming up, huffing and puffing, uh, you do not yet see Robert of Zeppelin, a.k.a. Chicken Master, uh, because he was taking a leisurely pace with the war chickens, as I recall. Uh, Leaf and Manfang, you stand atop a slight hill, looking down at what you are not sure. What would you like to do? Okay. Um, I will ask, since it is still dark out, right? I will ask... Yeah if he has anything to light that is not magic, that like a torch. Is he a like, bird? I'm not a bird. I Not so, anymore, because the polymorph uh, ended. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but did he crash to the ground? No, I didn't crash. I landed. I, I'm going to go ahead and sneak on down the hill. I, I'll revert, convert back to to uh, whatever the hell I am. Lucky. Lucky. A human, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Three-legged dog with one eye. I'll, I'll go ahead and... Uh, uh, make my way carefully, quietly down the hill. Give me stealth. I don't have no damn stealth. <laughs> right. We might as well. Oh, my. Uh, ten. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. Uh, Copious, as you round one hill, you notice two figures uh, on the next hill over. One of them disappears. You and Haggis uh, are about neck and neck, uh, given the circumstances. What would you like to do? Muted. We don't recognize the, the two figures on the other hill. Two, only their silhouettes. Um, do I think they can see us from our position on the hill? Uh, you can say with some degree of certainty that the one going down the hill went on the other side. So they are either laying a trap for you or didn't see you. The other one appears to be standing there. Manfang, were you going to do anything special? No, yes. I'm probably just going to follow them. Both of them disappear onto the other side of the hill. All right. I'm going to cast mage armor on myself, shadow armor, um, sure. summon pack weapon, thinking that they may be um, enemies. And then I'm going to begin uh, stealthing my way, stealthily making my way through the, to the other hill. Okay. I assume uh, you will keep Haggis close to you? <laughs> yeah, I suppose. And, He's a sneaky little git, so he should be able to stay in the shadows. I, I think he is fine. Leaf and uh, the other guy, I like that rather than Man Fang. Leaf and the other guy, you guys wander on down the hill, and you can just barely hear uh, some kind of audible conversation. Okay. Now I can see in the dark, nothing, nothing to see yet. Uh, you, you can tell that the three bipedal. Humanoids are, in fact, human, uh, and they give me. They're on bicycles. Did you say they're on bicycles? No, nope, they're not oh, on bicycles. Okay. Uh, give me an Arcana check, though, to see if you can recognize their apparel. Uh, Twenty-four. Sailors, by the looks of them. Hi ho, oh. hi ho. I will give a stage whisper to Manfang and say. They appear to be sailors. I wonder why they're this far from the sea. Yeah, yeah, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're sand sailors. They have... Both. Well, no, but you remember the ones that were in the tavern that we ran into. Yeah, I just really don't like to think that it was them because we have very... I have a very rememberable face, if you can't tell. Most people try to forget your face. I know. <laughs> Not here or here, but right here. Is where they most remain. I'm going to go ahead and continue to move forward. Weapons at the ready. With them and continue to talk at a normal sounding, not whispering, <laughs> regular sound. Uh, Felix, give me a <laughs> persuasion check. Dur, 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 dur. Uh, ten. Uh, the three bipedal humanoids stop as you offer your opinion and you can tell they're kind of looking at each other and then they kind of look over to one side where you can hear some kind of muffled audio uh it sounds kind of familiar uh i'm gonna go invest i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna go investigate what the audio is as you pop up uh oi 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 show us your hands don't don't shoot. 
I was sh shoot. What the what? they use harpoons. Say so don't don't poon me. Don't poon me. Don't, that, don't poon me. That's they're whalers. Never mind. <laughs> uh, they are puzzled, but since you raise your hands, approach cautiously. You can tell that they have like billy clubs, smart small uh, pegs mm. from a like ship. Press gang. Yes, mm, lovely Think press gang. Uh, oi. Your friend ran our, our buddy over. What the hell? Yeah, she is not my friend. She created a ruckus down at Smidge's Roadhouse. Can you cut me free? I thought I was already free. You had one hand free. One hand. Persuade oh, me. Man. 16 on my roll. Yeah, I don't think I don't think a five's gonna do it. Oi, I'm not cutting you loose till you, you you compensate us for our friend. Our friend is dead. His head looks like a pumpkin smashed. His head looked like a pumpkin smashed before we got here. Ooh, now cut me free, damn it. Persuasion at advantage. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. 13 <laughs> at advantage? Hey, that was our friend. You're right, but you shouldn't say stuff like that. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Leaf uh, and Manfang, give me a stealth check. <laughs> Shit. I'm not stealthy at all. Yeah, I ain't either. Oh, ooh, that's a good roll. 16. <laughs> <laughs> 16. It don't uh, matter. The, uh, the other guy was loud enough that uh, they have captured the attention. The sailors now notice that it appears to be three on three and take a look in their six to make sure that the female Dalton is not returning, courtesy of Felix's comment. Uh, they are weighing their odds on success and feel very confident that they are in no immediate danger and kind of square off with Felix and Manfang because they don't notice Leaf stealthing his way in. Oi, 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 you tell your friend, come here. Felix, at this point in time, they point over and you see the lizard-like figure of Manfang as Robert. Bombadilla, bombadilla. <laughs> Isn't he riding a big chicken too? Yeah, yeah. And, and with two others in tow. <laughs> but they are hens, boys and girls at home. So oh. the jokes don't work. <laughs> so what is that? I will... I will... Talk to uh, Man Fang and say, "These guys just stopped them. Where the hell were stopped? Saved me. Where the hell were you?" Excuse me. Could you say that again? Where the hell were you guys? Did you not oh, hear me screaming back at Smidges? Well, I was back there. Smidges is burnt. What took so long? Oi, 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 limey bastards, our friend's underneath this goddamn horse of yours. He's not getting any less dead, buddy. Calm down. Slow your roll. What happened uh, What did you do to her? About, about this time, Copius, uh, you can hear bombadilla, bombadilla. So the hill that you were on, uh, the moonlight silhouettes, a uh, rather large figure on three battle chickens, taking his sweet freaking time about getting here. Uh, you and Haggis, however, have reached the pinnacle of the hill. Give me a perception check to see if, how many of these people you spot. I have 21. You spot Leaf uh, stealthily kind of maneuvering his way around. You see the audio challenged man fang uh, breaching the silence of the night, yelling at Felix, Felix yelling back. And three, as you pointed out, gets uh, angrily bitching about something under a horse. I'm gonna, if I can stay in the tree line and get closer, but stay out of the, the visual uh, range for the three strangers, then I'll try to work my way behind them. I'll give you a stealth check and you will be following Leaf's path if you're successful. Oh, 14. Uh, yes, you uh, feel fortunate enough that Leaf has blazed a trail, so you follow that way down and immerse yourself into the darkness. However, uh, let's see if your associate, Haga's crap stain, Nat 20, that 
little freak is invisible. <laughs> that plus five decks come to play right there. Yeah, that's nat 20, baby. So first of the night, wasted. Uh, so you and Haggis quickly fall in line behind Leaf. Psst, psst, psst. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Man Fang Felix and three sailor types uh, are arguing vehemently. Felix has brought up a good point, stating that uh, the friend is no less dead at this point in time. Leaf. Copius and Haggis notice there is a body pinned underneath an equine similar to Wizard of Oz without the ruby slippers. Uh, back to Felix and Manfang, uh, the three limey bastards want to know about compensation for their friend. Well, okay. Give them that okay. name. Okay. <laughs> we still have those big ones. <laughs> compensation, you didn't run over. Dalton did. Yeah. Dalton did, and I assure you, she will be back here for all of us. She has an entire bag filled with wanted posters. When I was upstairs, she pulled one out of the bag. Hey, why don't you give them a reason to take you <laughs> into custody, dumbass? What's that? What, what, what was that? Wanted posters? Of she you guys? had a whole bunch <laughs> of them. She grabbed of you guys. one and said, that looks close enough like you. Oh, I got me a payday. She grabbed me, strapped me to her horse, and ran off into the night. And then it took you guys forever to get here. It would have been faster if you turned into a whale. Hey, hey. <laughs> they, they argued me out of it. I just turned into a hawk. Everything was uh, fine. Got to watch the show in the archives for that joke, folks. Uh, Felix, uh, Excuse me. Wanted posters of you guys? Wanted posters, not of us. Just random people. They didn't look anything like us. She had really? a whole bunch of them. And You're the said, one with the rope, right? She found one that looked close enough to me and said, that'll do. It says dead or alive. I wonder if they'll give me a bonus if you're alive. Do you uh, have a copy of that uh, wanted poster? He took it with him. Deception. Oh. Deception. I don't actually remember what happened to the wanted poster. Copious has it. 18. Huh. She had a whole bag of them. She'll find one in that bag that looks just like you and your friends too. Trust me. We aren't even from this shithole country. Neither am I. Look at me. Do I look like I'm from this shithole country? I'm here as well, and I'm not from here. As well. No, that guy's not from here. He crawled out of an egg. You, I don't know. <laughs> hey, anybody send a press gang into halfling land to get sailors the freaking idiot anyways. Let's see if the sailors notice the striking symbology of Robert of Zeppelin has stride his battle hen. 16. What in the hell is that? <laughs> Uh, Felix and Manfang, you can turn and you see the majestic outline of <laughs> your friend Robert of Zeppelin astride his battle hen with two additional battle hens in his side, looking around, completely lost. Is that thing with you? Uh, no, it would never be. Uh, continuing, on the, continuing on the poster conversation, um, that's not us. Your friend need compensation from the woman. There was a woman who took you, if I was listening correctly. It was definitely a woman. Okay. I was just trying to make sure you have very many lovers. I'm just trying to confirm. Role persuasion at disadvantage is uh, the sailors aren't sure how to take that comment. Might be positive, might be negative. Who's role of persuasion here? Is it Manfang? The other guy, Manfang. Uh, oh, uh, we're screwed. Oh, is it disadvantage? No. Not, not we. You. Yeah, He's screwed. I rolled an 18 on the first roll. Then he rolled a three. So. Don't worry, man thing. I'll save you. Don't save me. You can almost hear Wagner opera music in the background 
as Robert of Zeppelin strides down into the veil. Give me a, per give me a perception check, Robert. <laughs> Not good. Nat 20. Oh, you see everybody, uh, everybody, including the dude underneath the horse. As the clouds part and the moonlight basks this veil, you see Leaf, Copius, and Haggis, uh, three manning it in on an injection team into SEAL Team 3. You see Felix and the other guy, aka Manfang, arguing, and Manfang is doing a fantastic diplomatic job. Uh, and you, astride your battle hen, uh, put, uh, show an imposing figure uh, as you stride down in there. I think if you've seen the movie Colors, there's a story of a bull, and I think this would fit. Pretty close. Well, let's see. Here. Let me look Robert, at do you have a lance or a pennant that you're riding with? I just need to know for the visual. Uh, DQ on his armor. Don Quixote. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just uh, want to make sure I've got the right visual here. Fly to the coat. Uh, what, what is it? Cuckeries or what? Is it? I have a harpoon I can give to him. Do you remember uh, the cartoon? Oh, God. Uh, Super Chicken? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you cast a spell? Don't cast a spell. Oh, boy. This cannot go wrong. Oh, you got your die four there with you, Frank? I do indeed. Let's play the game. <laughs> oh, it never goes wrong. Okay, give me your percentage roll. Seventy-four. Maybe if I got into the right section. Well, let's wait, call sack. Yeah. Uh, uh. What's up, Sway Tulsa? Wrong that? game, wrong game. 74, you say. I say. And what spell are you casting? Witch Bolt. Nicely well, I done. can't go wrong, can it? Uh, who are you aiming at? One of the sailors, third level. Fair Aim. enough. Go ahead. Aim at the dead sailor. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right, aim at the horse. Make the horse just explode. That'll be a good idea. Sure, It'll get the horse out from on top of him. I'm trying to see what it was. Was this a concentration? I don't remember. Uh, no, it's ball? a ranged attack first. Yeah. Just do the ranged attack? Mm -hmm. yep. 20? <laughs> yeah. Natural? No. Damage, damage, modifier. This guy's dead. Yeah, We're yeah. all going to be dead before this is over with. I'm just waiting for initiative. That's all. I don't want them coming following me anywhere. Anybody uh -huh. we run into this bullshit. You people could have helped us. Eight. And you just don't start. worry. I'm one step ahead. This is going to be hilarious. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption. Three. This is what you're playing. This like you're just shooting people. Thirty-two. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Forty-six. Oh yeah, he's dead and a half. Uh, the good news is we're going to have a Voldemort moment as you astride your battle hen cast switch bolt the next thing that happens is you stride forward 30 feet ahead as you misty step in your three battle chickens are unattended currently and you have <laughs> blown up one of the sailors covering his two associates in icky icor guts you're a horrible person. <laughs> I told you. Don't don't die. Die. you. You may roll intimidation he's, and advantage. He said, I could see everything. If these are the sons of bitches that threaten my life, they must die. Oh, my God. They were not. <laughs> <laughs> these are poor well, random at the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm going to look over. Copious says, well, I guess shit's on now. It was a nat 20 on intimidation. Oh, yeah. They shit themselves. Uh <laughs> So covered in goo and uh, sitting in their own feces. And poo poo too. You have stunned silence on them. Uh, we'll go ahead and roll initiative. Uh, may be combat, may not be combat. I, because I am shocked, am rolling at disadvantage. You're still not going to go lower 19. than one. No, I'm not, but I came close. Oh, uh, what am I rolling? Natural oh, one, but otherwise it'll be five. Here. Natural run one for me. Oh, it's an 11. 20. 11. 
20. 20. 20. Uh, okay. Felix and Copius are also in stunned silence as they just watch this guy implode. Uh, it doesn't take long for them to figure out why he imploded because, of course, the Misty Step made you a tremendous entrance. I mean, it's like WWE, smoke, fireworks, and you just come striding through. Uh, and you have won initiative easily. What would you like to do next? As, as the sailors are like... <laughs> You're like Darth City. You just shoot out an electric bolt and just implodes. Just yeah. <laughs> Two long swords coming out and attacking. Do a spin maneuver. Now, you'll, you'll still be out of range, so you'll have to cover the ground. I'll cover ground. Okay. Uh, so now we see Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Is that guy running with a sword? Uh, and that leads us to a Dirty 20 Leaf. Uh, you can see this unfolding, and you can see that it is probably going to go bad. I'm going to attack with my battle axes. Sure. Out of the shadows leaps the lucky druid. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 14 and I think two. He's, or the two's not going to hit. But the no, I, it's a plus. I, I can't find the right sheet. Somebody was down here messing with my stuff, Frankie. You, you want to get your sheet together? <laughs> yeah, he'll never have a sheet. Yeah. I hate it when my sheets all messed up. Son of a bitch! Sixteen on one. That easily hits. And the other one's an eighteen. Easily hits. And I think it's a die eight plus two. These guys are AC eleven. They don't even have armor. So Thanks. that's life. Then six with one axe and five with the other. Are you splitting or combining? No, just combining on the same one. Uh, both are going to live at this point in time. Uh, oh, moving us to the 11. We're supposed to be okay. Murderers. Are you 11? Manfang is the 11. 11. Sorry, I was explaining to him that murder is not always the answer. As you that, vote for just Depends on the question. <laughs> <laughs> All has, right. Has the other guy seen the title of this show? I I'm gonna I'm gonna take out my battle axe and say, Felix, come here. I'll cut your bonds. <laughs> Can anybody else cut my bonds, please? I'll hold, it close to the, I'll hold it close to the head of the battle axe so I don't so I'm more accurate. Not a lot like <laughs> Wait a minute, I thought you were blind! I can see <laughs> I can see close enough. <laughs> so, so, no, so I'm, Lando, I'm... do you want him to cut it? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, can I keep approaching? Like I'm gonna. Uh, other guy, he's starting to back away. <laughs> That's it. Chase him down with your axe. Yeah, I got. You. I gotta get him. I'll, I'll save you. Wait, I'm, I'm here to you. help. I'm here to help. I'm just the government. <laughs> Legal now. We're married. Uh, the good news is, I don't know what to do other than crap myself so <laughs> my two sailors are just going to stand in petrification as the sorcery wield battle sword wielding creature is coming at me who just appeared out of the freaking mist like king arthur uh and the two idiots are chasing each other around y'all i'll cut you i'll cut you uh so <laughs> i'm I'm not going to do shit. And that brings us to our two number ones, Copius and Felix. You both witnessed what you might consider homicide <laughs> and potential homicide as and you're liking it. continues to chase you. So Felix and Copius, what do you two want to do? I'll let Felix respond first. Well, I think the obvious mantra of our party is no witnesses, so... We Let's can't get blamed for the homicide if there's no witnesses. <laughs> I, I thought there were bad guys that killed, but only for good reasons. But so now, here's a question. What did Dalton do with all my weapons? Am uh, I disarmed? No, they're still on you. All your shit's still on oh. you. 
perfect. Then because yeah. remember, you voluntarily allowed yourself to get tied up. Well, because I did not expect to get turned into a <laughs> for the bounty, I was expecting something different. How'd that work for you? <laughs> if I recall, I am very excited about it because I took one of the powder subs, uh, herbal supplements from Georgina's place as we were going up the so stairs. Sweet. I want her horse to move at disadvantage now. So <laughs> her horse is laying on the ground, right? Uh, <laughs> Felix's horse. Felix's borrowed horse is dead on the ground, pinning another sailor who is dead. George, or, uh, Dalton is in the wind. I just like the fact we took a vehicular manslaughter case and turned it into a homicide, mm -hmm. a triple homicide. So well, not, not yet. <laughs> it's about to be. Yeah. So Felix, are you going to go no witnesses as Man Fang? Mm -hmm. Ah, approaches you at high rate of speed trying to cut your bonds. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because that is an issue. That I is thought, a bit I of an thought issue. your bonds were already cut. You no, got one it. hand out, bonds on the other. Yeah, I guess I will use my free hand. If I can use both hands, then I will be attacking with short swords if I'm close enough to these guys. Uh, the short sword of the bonded hand will be a distraction, so you will go disadvantage on that one. Your free okay. hand is fine. All righty. I don't think that a 13 is high enough to hit. Sure. They are unarmored. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> These are sailors. Meat. This is called 13 meat. for five damage. For five, that'll, that'll kill one of them because there was six and five already, so you killed them. This feels like cruelty to human beings. That's okay. What was your other roll, Felix? Oh, the other one was a three plus six, nine. Okay, uh, Man Fang, uh, you may do your assistance of opportunity to try and free him from his bonds. <laughs> I will help you. <laughs> Roll to, roll to hit his bonds. Hey, well, wait a minute. Let me ask something first. If I use men, will that put that cut off arm back on or no. it doesn't work? Oh, no, okay. it does not work. I just no. want to clear that up first. But Leaf, it will fix his, his shirt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, fix, oh, thank you. Shirt. Yes. Yeah. What's that? What's that? That it looks like an eight. No, it's a five. Okay. Plus, don't forget what you have to hit. So it's plus eight. No, it's plus eight. So five plus eight. 13, I know. I'm Felix, you hear the swoosh of the battle axe and you feel a tug on your belt. Uh, but then the tug ah. re releases uh, uh, no. D12 against me to see if uh, you're mooning everybody. <laughs> I cut his pants. If I know anything about Felix, he would be anyway. Seven. One, uh, your pants are still on for the time being. Copious, you tied with Felix. You just saw Man Fang cut his belt and his britches are soon to drop. What would you like to do? There is only one sailor left who is still standing there. <laughs> yeah, so Copious is going to just casually walk up to the remaining sailor. He has his pack weapon, but it's not even on guard. He's just going to walk up and he's going to look straight in the sailor's face. Go. Well, yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> this is the part where you should run away. Oh, you're so cool, aren't you? This is the part where copious is fine to be involved in things, but, you know, triple homicide for no cause seems a little excessive for even copious. <laughs> you know what? Knowing full well Haggis is penchant for chaos... Copious, why don't you D12 against me? Uh, if I win, you can convince Copious. Or kill him, Hoggis. Kill him, Hoggis. Kill him, Hoggis. To relax. No witnesses. Six. Four. Uh, you can stay, Hoggis, or you can let Hoggis go ape shit. I, I, it's Hoggis's call. Hoggis is on the call now. You, you beat me, so I will say Hoggis is puzzled at your reaction. The guy... And his droopy drawers, which are noticeably sagging, not like Felix's, but noticeably sagging from extra baggage, uh, begins to run up the next hill. That leads us back to Robert of Zeppelin, uh, who has already slain one of these poor bastards. 
I assume he's going to slay this poor bastard as he crests the hill. Chase him down on chicken. Yeah, you know the word. Well, now remember the three chickens oh. are behind him, unattended at this moment. Ew. That is an entirely different problem. You psychopathic. I'm just guy. playing it the way I see it. No, you're. I wasn't playing on that. All right, I, I, I've completely given up on giving you helpful NPCs. <laughs> In the end, it's bad. I'm on a rescue mission. Yeah, rescue mission. Casting firebolt. I rescued this many, but I killed seventy four. I rolled a four Ooh. on my four, die four. Oh. Uh, that is a three, so no wild magic this time. Awesome. And let's not, not really. The wild magic really worked out for me last time. It's fun. That's why. I, I, I mean, it, it gave you a super entrance. It did. I mean, that, that shit was the bomb. Whoosh. Wow. Ten points of damage. <sighs> oh, he's dead. Dead as Lincoln. Uh, just as he reaches the crest of the hill, uh, an explosion in his back causes him to topple as the clouds start to cover over the moon. Darkness falls on the hilltop. Uh, not a sound is heard except uh, and then you notice your three battle hens feeding kind of uh, does anyone want to approach them uh, no, I think it's not a smart idea to approach them battle hens to me no. <laughs> I'll walk back here you know if you're rolling at 20 I'll let, it, I'll let you command them Hoggis, he's here. Look at him. Frankie, what I roll? <laughs> Nat 20. <laughs> the battle hens come to Robert of Zeppelin. It appears as though he has followers. Stupid man, I can picture it. <laughs> I, I want someone to paint a rooster on his breastplate. <laughs> oh, I got to say, what the flock. <laughs> Sir, Sir Robin. Brave <laughs> Sir Robin. Ah, interesting. Uh, you know what? But the dice giveth and the dice taken away. I'm not the least bit disappointed that you now control three hands. <laughs> well, but, but because we're kind of a PG show right now, I'll save that thought for later. What? What's the thought <laughs> is the thought is what? <laughs> if he's got three hands following him, following him around, what's that make him? Uh, something of the block, I think. Pollo. I think that's what it is. Um pollo. Um pollo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, wow. Uh, welcome aboard, Haggis. I already did your standard intro, so you're welcome. Uh, you have stayed your <laughs> weapon and not uh, participated in the mass homicide. Uh, but there are four dead sailors, one dead horse, one partially pantless Felix uh, and three delusional hens. It sounds like something I've heard. It's almost like a bad uh, Brothers Grimm story. <laughs> I'm going to tell everybody we need to move away from here and make camp. The wait, wait. Just... <clears throat> Do we want to dispose of the bodies? I was thinking we start a bomb. Drag them. We could drag them off in the bush. We won't even know who they are. You exploded one of them. The other one is a pumpkin. There's flat three head. more that's here. Two that have been sliced and one that's been crushed. He cut his face off. Because that's what. Listen, if they were from a ship, eventually someone's going to put two and two together. These bodies need to disappear. Let's just drag them off and find a place in a crevice or something. Drop. Them. Uh, put <laughs> on top of them. Mel cow. But let's take the. I, I th we need to take the. Uh, what the horse tack on the saddle off this horse. We we uh, we could shave them and then draw like Nazi symbols so they think that they're the. <laughs> <laughs> shave them and draw. Them. <laughs> and we're you gonna shave gonna, their heads. <laughs> and we're gonna put some sort of the equivalent of cult rune tattoos on them. Well, he said something idea. about shaving them. I was a little concerned he'd been hanging out with Felix so much. <laughs> Well, you know. Wait a minute, that was copious that got the shave job. 
I yep. was Tropius was bald. But we could make him look bad, so it's less suspicious of like why me, anyone would miss them in the first place. Let me just say, if you want to stay here and shave them, I'd be happy to go on my way. Yeah, I'm not going to hang out for the shaving. You, you <laughs> Sooner or later, these bodies and this smell is going to start attracting things we don't want to mess with. So. We, we could think... rub them in oil so that like a monster eats them, like a like a forest creepman. Vinaigrette, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Marinate <laughs> make some more make some more chili father i'm getting my zonkey and i'm leaving yes i will explain to the rest of the party what i actually witnessed when i was up there with dalton that after we did our thing she pulls out a wanted poster <laughs> and it's most definitely all of us wanted in cragwich <laughs> dead or alive I wait. So he didn't tie you up till after you did your thing. Well, we did our thing while I was tied up, and then she said, "That was amazing." But bad news, I got to turn you in for the bounty. Uh, 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 uh. Can I? Uh, yeah. What part of what you just said? Wait, was wait. I'm rolling for insight on this one. Yeah. Oh, I rolled a one. Kobe <laughs> fully believes you. <laughs> I fully believes you. Matt, twenty. Oh, I know Matt what's Felix, true. He's a hell of a man. We got the bookends. <laughs> well, you guys know you know Felix. We do. Let's, totally let's, plausible. Let's drag these bodies off. Well, seven, I believe them. I rolled a seven. Sixteen. He's full of it. I rolled let's seven. go back to the roadhouse. No. We're not That's the other the direction. We have to go. Roadhouse is not welcome. Wait a minute. Right. Stop, stop. Did anybody bring my zonky? Yes, uh, Copious has it. Copious has mine. I've got Felix's, and he hadn't said a damn word, so I guess it's mine now, isn't it? I've got two. No, 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 no. I want. What? I want. You want, the, you want zonk? Oh, it's safe with Manfred. Thank you for bringing my zonk. Oh, well, Buttercup's feelings are hurt now because Felix has totally ignored her. I am. Uh, She's looking for solace in the arms of Manfred. <laughs> I think not. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I think Man Fang's name is still on it, isn't it? Yeah, it's still mine. My name's on the thing. It's mine. Did did wasn't it? Hold on, it was with, here with the handprints. <laughs> yeah, handprints on the door. Take it. Don't what take us long to get off track, does it? Yeah, <laughs> that was two <laughs> weeks ago. <laughs> That's fine. Give it back. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hook a rope on a couple of the angles of these things and get on my zone to start dragging them off. Sure. Off the trail, I assume. Yes, off the trail, as far as I can easily get. Uh, it's going to take at least two of you to lift this uh, dead horse off the fourth. Uh -huh. That is the one that I think you can leave there. It might explain oh, yeah. what happened. It, yep. it was on a horse, it fell and died. The horse yep. killed them. But I'd leave that one there. The other uh -huh. three, we don't know anything about. Okay. But I'm going to go through uh, that. One, it I'm seems to me there's only two. Now we how far west did we go? Uh, you went. Are we far enough that we can start heading north now? Yes. The geese is going to kind of give us a little bump. Yeah. The only problem is it's about two a.m. and uh, <laughs> yeah, you guys are somewhere. going to suffer one level of exhaustion. We're we're going to go off into the woods far enough that we, that we can't be seen by the trail, and then we're going to set camp. Right. Well, t we'll take these guys to the south of the trail. Drag them to the south, then we'll go to the north of the trail and, and make a camp. How's that? And that way we're far enough away from them that I don't want wild beasts coming up on me in the middle of the night. Oh, don't worry. The uh, blood pattern that is in this area from the exploded person will attract them all here. So that horse and other body will probably get eaten. All right. We'll go north the trail then. Yes? No? Yep. Yes. Okay. See. All right. So you guys are about here, okay, uh, and you know somewhere uh, supposed to be back one hex in this yeah. region. Yeah, is where you were supposed to go. So why don't we go northeast then, and little north and a lot east, and set up camp off the trail. Yeah, well, I mean, we can just follow. Can't we just follow the road back? It'd be faster and then head just a little ways and then. That's true. Sure. 
as long as nobody from Smidgies is coming after you. Well, if they are, we'll Robert, kill them. We'll kill Robert them too. Burn it down, or burn down the stables. Yeah, Robert set fire to the stables before. Nobody we knows that. No. So, how long do you want to travel back? Uh, not long. I guess the question is, do we have a sense for how far we've traveled? I mean, I will take it a survival check by one person. Uh, I'll draw. I'll roll. I need somebody with high wisdom. I've got a high wisdom. This I got this. I have this. I, I think Man Fang should do it. Absolutely not. I have nominate Man Fang. I got this, guys. I got this. 26. I roll. Uh, 26. You're a good two hours off. Mm. Okay. To, about, to get, uh, to get into this work. section. Okay. Well, we don't we don't want to burn our whole night. We need some rest. So no. So why don't we go, go back? Ways. Why don't we go back about a half of that and then uh, off off the trail and set up camp? Fair okay. Enough. Uh, it's uh, about three a.m. now. Okay. Uh, everybody is quite tired. Yep. Uh, do you want to set up a watch? I'm not. I'm going to sleep. Okay. I can hey, set I've... up guard. I can set up guardians. I think. I think that's one of mine. Actually, Felix is a little jazzed up. He'll take first watch. But he's <coughs> not actually going to watch anything. When you Just say Felix is jazzed up, I really wish you'd use some different language. <laughs> if you recall, like Felix <laughs> took the herbal supplement before he went up the stairs. That is true. Uh, four four hours. Hours. Four I know, hours. and I knew exactly what you meant when you said jazzed up. Yep. Yeah. The hell is that spell? Uh, by the way, Felix, uh, with one hand, you're holding up your britches because the other guy cut your belt. I have an apron. Thank if you. you want to tie that Man to thing. it. Uh, Felix, I'm going to tell Felix, once you grab some of that leather off that the reins on that horse and use it to make a belt out of it. I could do that. Or can't you just mend it for me? Uh, I, I'll, I'll spray yeah, but that's a lot of work. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, Mend it together, I guess. There I'm gonna go. take the belt oh, off. Magic. Doing oh, let's roll my magic dice. I rolled I'm a dice. I roll the gonna take it off first. Well let's see, how, <laughs> let's see how this magical spell goes. Good lord. Uh zero zero zero. That's a hundred, right? That is one hundred. Oh, I may select any result from this table. <laughs> oh, jeez. All you have to do is fix your belt. <laughs> belt does not hurt my I pants anymore. Be, I will be kind and I will roll. I grow up. 93. Oh, and you regain 2d10 hit points, Robert. Uh, 11 hit points if you were down. I wasn't down. <laughs> I feel refreshed. Awesome. How, how about his belt? It's mended. Thank you. Is it mended upside down? It is not. <laughs> <laughs> With a twist in it. <laughs> That's right. You're going to be a southpaw now. Uh, oh, lucky me. So, Felix, you're going to take first watch. Everybody else going to... Okay, take... guys, I can use plant growth. And we could get into a central area, and I could cast that, and that'll uh, make a hundred foot circle of <coughs> feet of movement for every foot that something moves through it, and leave the center open. What? Don't forget, you have four zonkeys and three battle hens that you have to account. For. It says I I can. Uh, uh, where now is it? That seems like a lot of work. And it's I'll take I can exclude one or more areas of any size within the spells area from being affected. But it's only a hundred feet around. Yeah. Ten by ten area. No, ten by ten is a hundred square feet. This is a hundred foot radius. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, so it's a two hundred foot, foot diameter. diameter circle. I think that's quite big enough for us to everybody to get some rest. Unless you roll a gun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, thanks for jinxing that. You're welcome. That's his job. Uh, 18 with, with my spell bonus. Sure. So uh, that's way we can all rest. We all need it. So why don't I do that? 
Okay. You whatever. Copius is already asleep next to his. <clears throat> is that a concentration spell? Because I think if you go to bed, that'll... it's instantaneous. But it's got a concent... visual visual component and what's an S? Somatic. 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 Uh, somatic. Somatic. Tomato. Tomato. But how long does it last? Uh, one hour. It's there. I'll give it to you. Mostly because I don't have my phone to look it up. So I don't care. Yeah, uh, Leaf has provided a reasonable solution if you want to take it. It just says duration is instantaneous. <laughs> it doesn't. Okay. Doesn't give a, a time. It says if I concentrate on this, cast a spell over eight hours, I enrich the land for a half mile radius centered on a point. Well, aren't you? Farmer Brown. I am. Uh, I, I will give you the radius for the time being. Uh, okay. At least at this time until I look at it otherwise, but I think that's yep. reasonable. Uh, you can gather everybody in, <clears throat> cast the spell. You can become Maleficent, and nobody can enter in your thorny prison. That and works. Now I'm going right to sleep. How long do you guys want to sleep? I got to have some rest. What, four hours is half time, right? Mm -hmm. Why not six to eight hours? Uh, Four I, hours, you will roll a con save to see if you are exhaustion. Uh, six to eight, I will uh, give it to you at advantage. Eight or more, I'll just give it to you. Does it mean nothing says it's three o'clock? Four hours puts us at seven. Another four hours puts us at what? Well, 11. Eleven. I'm fine with doing eight. I'll tell you. Yeah, Dalton really wore Felix out last night. So, <laughs> you're, you're wow. so full of shit. Double, double oh, down. shit. Copius doesn't know it, no. That's true. Yeah. Copius and Manfang think you're. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so wise in the so ways of female. I'm sleeping for eight hours. I'm okay. sleeping for eight hours as well. I will also do hey, night uh, <clears throat> Well, it's interesting. I just oh, looked up that plant sure. growth, and it and uh, I looked up one person's interpretation was it permanent, and the plants are permanently enhanced that way in this area forevermore. So you actually have to cut your way out to get out of through it, <laughs> otherwise you're affected by the growth. Well, at least you'll be safe. Uh, yeah. yeah, you know what? At this point, I don't really care. The sky is bright as day because it is high noon on day three. Uh, we could we could make that a hunt that radius, Jason, in with like about a eight foot wall of plants, and then the inner circle burn it to the ground. We will call it Leaf's Grove, unless you burn it down. We should burn it. Hey, because it will it. enhance a, a half mile area. You know, getting out of here, we're going to chop our way out because I'm saving my spells for what we're about to get into. Teddy Leaf Roosevelt has saved a national park. Mm -hmm. That's right. What if we use a torch on it, on the thing to get out? Uh, as long as you're careful with it, uh, you will still enhance most of the half mile. Flamethrower. Or you All can right. just if, poison if it and turn it into a swamp. <clears throat> if it's the, the daylight, we're all rested. Right. Yeah, let's go. We've got to get a move on. Yeah. I feel the urge. I, I just have this urge. Give me a minute, guys, while I go behind this tree. <laughs> Good luck. You can't get behind the tree. Plant growth is, plant. is poisoned now. <laughs> I don't use the thing around this. I'm sorry. I'm a druid. I can move freely through this. That's true. Everybody else has to fight their way through. Yeah, Mark. not me. Here, here is the million dollar question Who is going to roll a D6? Because as you'll remember, there were three areas that were probable locations for the ruins. There you go. Throw Opius, it. got it. One. Just gone with Manfang. Why, why would you? Fair enough. Uh, you guys head off into the first area that you think is reasonable. Uh, the deeper you get into the mountains, the worse it gets. The path and or trail narrows considerably. Everybody give me an investigation check. 
That's a plus two. It's nothing. <laughs> Nine. Yeah. Eighteen. Fourteen. Is that or I guess what was yours? Thirteen. Uh, Robert, you are the only one that notices that Chasm Peaks is not a natural formation. The lines are too sharp. Uh, there is just a foreboding of evil about this place. It almost looks like it was artificially created with saccharin or sweetener. Uh, that don't look right. The Lord says that's not right. Are we mounted? Yeah. Not trying to get out of this crap. I'm not, anyways. So uh, we're walking our mounts? It depends on what the it terrain was. Yeah. If terrain is narrow pathways. Uh, think Chile, where the logs have to walk. Walking. 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 Yeah, no uh, bravery here. <laughs> Felix and Buttercup. Yes, if everyone else is doing it, I'll walk too. Fair enough. Uh, everybody give me a dex check. Oh, boy. Oh, hell yeah. Here it is. <laughs> well, I wish I had plus five dex. Twelve. Natural 20. Fifteen. Got a 22. Oh, look at that. Dirty. That's a, that's a dirty 20. Dirty 21. Uh, everybody scales uh, the ridge line here. Everybody roll a straight up D20. No pluses? No pluses. Gonna see who has the opportunity to see it. Nat 20. 15. Nat 20 is always hard to beat. Copious, give me a perception check. Twelve. Nestled in a corner of these irregular peaks. You spy... I got a natural 20. You also got a nat 20? Yes. Uh, the other guy and Copius both spot in a chasm. <laughs> Not this way. Hey, that way. Uh, stone structure that looks seemingly out of place. You will have to wind your way down the ridge that you are currently on and move out away from another peak in order to get a better view. Okay. Everybody roll dex check number two. 18. Um, 19. 16. That, that, is, that is a 10. You roll it's dex check. 21. Mm -mm, you roll worse than me. I rolled six. Our old 10. Robert of Zeppelin, uh, your careless movement causes shale to fall. You take five hit points. But I was right. Bonus 11 hit points, right? <laughs> and Copius, you are close to him. You also take five hit points of shale damage as you and your mount are showered in stone. I'm just curious, uh, can these chickens fly? Short distances. So they could glide all the way down. Sure, till they hit the end. <laughs> you just jump off and you cancel you cancel the momentum. We could I double can, jump off it, you know? I, I could glide off a roof. It's just that landing that causes me all the issue. <laughs> so, uh... Fortunately, Copious, as the shale subsides and you clear your eyebrows, you notice that you and Manfang can see, indeed, you are correct. Over on a ledge is a stone fortification, not naturally built. It would appear to be fallen from above. On the opposite side, you notice another stone fortification, and as you take it into view, you notice it was probably one fortification that fell from the sky and shattered. There is a narrow connection point on a wall on the far side. But first, you will have to get to the left side and begin your exploration of Corpus Keep. You have arrived 
at your destination point with the roll of a one matched by my roll of a one on a d6. You have chosen wisely. Of course, if you <laughs> left the sailors alive, they would have told you exactly where it was. <laughs> yeah, I thought about that afterward. <laughs> why do we kill everyone we meet? Oh, because. Uh, why change is yeah. what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Glam bone. I mean, we kill them. You do other things with them, okay? That's true. Yeah, I did. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Point out what you just described to the other party members if they didn't hear. They they only man fang sees what you see. Now the bigger question is: Do we see a, a path that will get us to the starting, the jumping off point you described on the left side? You do see a trail. It is narrow. It is ugly, but there is a trail there. Is it wide enough for mounts to go down, or is it going to require us to leave the mounts? Uh, give me a survival check. Ugh. That's never good. Um, you know, how about eight? Oh, yeah. Mounts will be fine. Mounts will be fine. I'm going to point out the, the, the everything to everyone say, and look, there's even a path. It's just perfect. I say, Felix, we can get you and Buttercup down this path with no problem. You guys can go first since we're so confident. You guys can go first. Can I also do a survival check on that one? I don't believe, I don't trust Mr. Aid on there. A anybody who doesn't trust Copious may roll a survival check. That's like saying uh, the whole rest of the party, why don't you all roll a survival check? Yeah, 24. 15. But do it, but do it at disadvantage, please. Okay. <laughs> Mine's a plus eight, so I ain't too worried about it. Uh, 20 and a 24. 15 and 14. Bye. <laughs> Mine were both garbage. Robert and Manfang, sure, whatever you say, Copious. Felix and Leaf, you have some reservations. Haggis, what did you roll? A 13. Uh, Haggis also has reservations that the way down is probably not suitable for mounts, especially these unpredictable battle hens that are foolish enough to consider Robert a Zeppelin their god. Master of... What, what if we tie a rope to uh, up at the top and then we take the rope and like throw it down there or and you we use the it? rope to go on... <coughs> Can what I will you, what will you tie it to? Is there a branch maybe? There are a lot of shale outcroppings here. Okay, okay. So we could we could put it like on a shale outcropping. I guess that was a great idea. Let me, let me drop out a leaf mode. Uh, shale is basically rock that's thin and crumbly, and it just lays in layers, and you can smack it with your hand and make it fall apart. Oh, I, oh okay. I know what that is. So we can't really tie a rope to anything to get down. Right. No. You could. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, yeah. I, if, if 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 leaf, you could turn into a big animal and we could tie it to you, and then we could use you to get down. Wait, because if you're heavy enough, hey, if you're a whale, whale. Hey, if you if you're a, a whale, if you're a whale, we could get on top of you, and we'd already be down. Yeah, there. I could turn into a whale on this little ledge we're on and take us all to the bottom. Yeah, that'd be a great idea. Let's do that. Note, be a big dragon. Note the uh, fortification <laughs> is not at the bottom. <laughs> Nowhere close to the bottom. <laughs> The fortification that we need to get to is pretty much at the same level we're on? Or? You guys have moved winding path down for several hours, and you are here. The bottom is more like not visible. It looks, it, look, it looks like there was a fortification on top of this mountain at some time. The mountain gave way, the fort dropped, and has landed on two separate ledges with a narrow connecting point okay, that you will have to leap across. With our donkeys and shit? I doubt it. Uh, Copious uh, begs to differ. You go first, yeah. Copious. Wait, you got right, well, you know, to just be safe, we'll let Copious go first. Now, everybody give me an investigation check. Natural 20. 11. 16. I got a 14. 16. Uh, 16 and above. You notice that on the left side, 
which you are approaching, uh, has a partial courtyard attached to it. You surmise that perhaps, uh, especially with the wisdom of the other guy, uh, Man Fang is clear that you could probably stable your mounts on that side while you continue your exploration to the other side. Because uh, why would I put the BBG on the easy side? Yeah. This is doctor certified. Manfang, point that out to Copious. Okay, here. If you look right over there, it's right there. It's, you just go straight down there. You make a left and then come. You make a left and then you make another right. And then it's, you, two, it's two lefts and a right. You cannot left miss and it. And right, and then you take, it's kind of like a curvy thing. And then you and then you go down a bit, and then it's right there. And then make a right at Old Doc Simpson's barn. Yep. <laughs> Old Man Jenkins house. <laughs> <He's> just... <laughs> He'll point you the rest of the way there. Yeah, so with that, in, yeah. With, with the information given, the choice is all of yours. Let's go. All right. I guess I'm going. I got One this last dex check before oh, the fortification. Nope, I uh, that's um. That's Did a, I say I was bringing up the rear? Not yet. You haven't. I'm that's bringing up 17. the rear. That was a nineteen. Mine was, Seventeen. Mine was a ten. Seven. It's just getting worse and worse. Let's roll nine. I rolled a nine. Yeah. Leaf Six. was. Leaf and copious. Break loose some more shale. Uh, <laughs> 16 I... hit points of shale descend, and because there are two of you, you will also catch number two, Manfang in the shale selection. I had a, I had a 19. Oh, you, oh, I'm sorry, I thought you had a six. No. Maybe. Oh, that okay. was Felix. Felix. Oh. Copies and Felix oh. took a shower. Two. Copious Felix, you take showers of 16 hit points. Manfang, you take eight. Half of that. Guys, with your... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to look at Haggis, who I think is right next to him. See, that's why we couldn't tie a rope off to this stuff. I, I'm going to look at Leaf and go, I'm, like, I'm looking ragged already. We haven't even made it to the, the tower yet. <laughs> and I look like I've been in a fight. Do you have any uh, healing potions with you? I do not have any healing potions with me. Well, let's get the let's get the zonky stabled up here in this courtyard. Man, Fang was talking about, and then I'll see yep. about healing you up a little bit. They got a chauffeur. He's right over there. His name's John. So as you guys continue down the ever narrowing path, shrinking, uh, you get to a small plateau overlooking this fortress that seems to have fallen down these sharp, jagged mountains and wedged itself in. Unfortunately, there is a large chasm cutting across. So about 25% of the fortress is on this side and about 35% is on this side. Uh, the rest of the 100% is a chasm. There is the small curtain wall that is still mostly intact that will allow you to traverse side A to side B, although there is a gap. Mind the gap. Uh, you may stable your mounts here on the plateau, or you may have them jump down onto this secondary plateau where a good portion of the fortress is located. Can, is it obvious that they can jump back up if they jump down later? They would not be able to jump back up. Okay, so there's no there's no getting them back up. Obviously, okay. fly back up. So there's stonework here, so it would be possible to attach ropes. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, there's also really nowhere for them to go. Why are we bringing the mounts down there then? We're not. We're because we've we're traveled the... two hours down. <laughs> oh, right. We're, we're leaving them in the courtyard, right? Yeah, yeah. that's what I thought. The okay. courtyard is different than this plateau. We're the courtyard them. will require them to make a jump. The plateau will leave them in a relatively safe space. And it's and, easy to get to also. 
Uh, yeah, all you got to do is come back this way. Hmm. No you, ominous behavior there. Why do you keep saying World War One? Is there going to be a second war? <laughs> uh, come back this way. Okay, sounds good to me. Yeah, the mounts have really nowhere to go. So unless the hens of Robert the Zeppelin are completely stupid, uh, they're just going to be stuck on this plateau. Hey! <laughs> no go! Let's see if I can draw this better. That'd be nice. Yeah, here you go. Okay. Uh, this is a relative proximity. Uh, you guys are on this rocky plateau. The black area is, this area is the chasm. Yeah, this you know, area is stone think. fortification. So this leads down into what used to be a big courtyard, but is now really chasm-y. Are, are you sharing something that we're not seeing? I thought I was, maybe not. Nope, I am not. <laughs> okay, there we go. There so, we go. This area would be the chasm. This area is partial stone wall, partial stone wall, long stone wall. This is the plateau. And this uh, used to be a top tower on this uh, corpus keep. Okay. I think we it, this, this runs all the way and then it runs to the right uh, where you would have to make a leap of faith. So we're leaving the mounts at X. We need to go to B1. That, that is the only way, unless you want to run right along here. Uh, either way, getting to B1 or along the wall is going to require a jump. Well, if B1 is where we need to go, then let's, let's jump. Everybody make a dex check if you're leaving your mounts here. Uh, 21. Natural 20. Leaf easily drops down uh, onto the top of a tower, which is for some reason below you. I had a 16. Uh, Haggis follows suit. Six. Uh, nine, copious falls and takes. <laughs> Three hit points of damage, nearly spraining his ankle. What was yours? Uh, who else? Uh, Felix, take three damage as you land poorly. Oh, that's not so bad. Robert and the other guy. <laughs> Can't hear you. This is the best game we've had. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We love you too, Man Fang. That's what he's saying. Yeah, sure. That's oh, that's so nice of him. Yeah. And I think they locked. Yeah, frozen too. So, uh, Robert Rob just cost cast magic left and right as he fell down to the bottom of the chasm. Robert uh, 11, I'll give him that. Manfang uh, 8. So Manfang will take 3 hit points as well. Uh, but you guys are all on top of this tower. He looks like some healing. <laughs> no kidding, right? Is this like a defensive fortification? So it's like a crenellated flat top tower? Correct. Although it does not appear to be halfling size. Uh, from what you can see and tell from the surroundings, this would have been a human fortification. Finally, somewhere tall enough to stand up in. Uh, the arduous trek through the sharp mountains has not gone very well and your concern grows at the lack of progress. Noting in this area, or nothing in this area appears to have been man-made and everything looks bleak. As a mist begins to descend, you feel even worse until you spot something in the crevice ahead. That would be man, fang, and copious. 
uh, the lighting isn't very good, but it appears as though the ruins of an old citadel are perched precariously atop two sides of the chasm. Most of the middle of the structure has fallen into the depths, but the structure along the walls uh, reveal that you could probably move about freely. Uh, here at B1, not to be confused with old B1, a narrow path leads down to the chasm, and as you approach, you notice a bleached skeleton with several shattered ribs and a leg bone after leaping down. Uh, kicking it out of the way, the bones separate and drop into the dark chasm over the side, but clatter off the sides of the mountain in the process. You foolish took. Uh, the trail leads to a lopsided structure that would have been made up of part of the corner of the fortress. The trail is littered with fractured stone, but you can make entry into a corner building here. Uh, if we can enter <clears throat> enter a building, I, I want to search things. I don't want to leave anything behind us that we haven't searched first. No, I, I agree. Let's enter the building. So I, before I do that, though, I'm going to go ahead and cast uh, Shadow Armor <laughs> and, and draw a weapon. How um, far down is your health, Felix? I have 11 hit points left. <laughs> All right, hang on. I'll, I'll give you a heal. I'm going to TP. Frankie, Frankie said his computer. Computer completely crashed. He's rebooting. No problem. Uh, hang on, Felix. Yeah, between. Uh, oh, nice. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. I will take it. Yeah, Frank said that he rolled a dirty twenty, and Frankie rolled an eleven. <laughs> uh, we'll remove uh, Man Thing's three hit points. <laughs> Disregard. He's he's texting me here, so. Oh, I, yeah, I, I actually can't. So just let him know, uh, no injury. What's your uh, health at now, Copious? Uh, I'm minus eight. I don't know. I'm in the 30s now. Yeah, you're good. Good enough. Good enough to take a couple of hits. Yeah. Every, everybody perception check. Golly. Um, uh, 24. 14. A 12. 12. 7. Uh, Leaf, you're pretty sure in your casting of magical healing, you hear something in this uh, small structure atop the old crenellations. I'll say that, uh, no, uh, make a comment to Copus. Did you hear that? Nope. When I was casting that healing, I heard something inside here. I think the blood rushing through his ears uh, might have uh, disturbed him. No, that'd be that'd be Felix that has the problem with that, not me. That's... Not after so, last night. Yeah, so, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was stunning. <laughs> uh, so, Leaf, uh, yeah, nobody hears it but you. All right. I'm going to very warily go in, move inside. Uh, the door itself is old, tattered, and has seen better days. Uh, a quick visual inspection of it, uh, you can tell that this structure was not built here. It fell into this chasm area, and as such is wedged to the best of your ability uh, and doesn't appear to have moved in quite some time. The door is partially open and has missing pieces of wood in the planks. Okay. And it won't open, you're saying it's wedged. No, if you want to open it, you can give it a shot. I will give it a shot. Uh, you reach for the door, notice the hinges are on the outside, open it up. It opens easily because the wood at the top and the bottom have been eaten away due to time. However, a creature bolts out of this room and let's see if it knocks you on your ass. Yeehaw! That is a 19 plus 5. I think it does. Uh, giant mountain goat careens through. Uh, give oh. me a DC 13 versus strength, and you are going to take okay. some damage. DC 13? Yep, strength. And I wrote a 18, a, an, an 18. A18 and 18. 
You heard it coming and managed to sidestep it partially, but not before it delivers a crushing blow to your ribs for eight hit points, bludgeoning. The goat darts into this opening. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, man, I want this goat for a mount. I got a five. I also got a five. <laughs> um. Fourteen. Uh, copious V bitters. You notice as Leaf grabs a hold of the ramshackle door, opens it up. A figure darts out, lowering its head, and shout out to Dodge trucks everywhere. Uh, it knocks him to one side. What would you like to do? Um, can I? Is the beast running off, or is it turning headed, around? To headed attack? right for the chasm peak. I'm gonna uh, hold any further action and see if it just takes off. Uh, leading us to fourteen, Felix. No, uh, I had a five. I had oh, a fourteen. Oh, sorry, the camera's changed. Go ahead, uh, Leaf. You're up. Well, I think I'm kind of on my back, if I'm not mistaken. Eh? Uh, not with an 18. You only needed a 13 to be uh, knocked. Not knocked. Oh, okay. So I'm not knocked down, but I You're took just, one to the ribs. Yeah, you took one to the ribs. I'm watching. I'm going to watch the beast to see what it and whether it turns or whatever, whether it makes sure it doesn't come back. Uh, it leaps up because it's next in initiative. It leaps up onto the narrow shale walls. The shale starts to give way and it leaps to another set of shale. Odd, it will go on an escape route. Even, it will head towards your mounts. Okay. Six, it jumps onto the plateau. Everybody roll for your mount. I will roll three d20s. Uh, for the giant ends. 19. Six. 10. Buttercup. 15. Buttercup rolled a six. Buttercup gets careened into the shale. but only suffers six hit points as the goat, very dexterous, probably great in bed, Haggis, uh, managed to, to start skipping along the shale and quickly escapes the region. Shale continues to fall with each step it takes and everybody feels the fortress quiver. Freaking goat. I don't like the fact that just the goat escaping up the side of the hill Made it's making engine. everything shake. Yeah, I think we need to do what we need to do and get the hell out of here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I say build yeah, a fire. <laughs> I say no. Okay. Uh, you want to look inside the building? Yes, yep. absolutely. Uh, da, 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 we'll da, da, da. investigate the inside of the building. Uh, a lot of broken arrows. This appears to have been a storage unit for a ballista, uh, but no ballista is present here. No, 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 nothing else in here? Nothing else in here, but as you exit the building, you notice there are a set of stairs unforeseen by any of you previously, leading down into what used to be the courtyard. I'll take uh, the stairs. Yeah, cautiously take the stairs. Yeah, yeah, good word. Cowards. Uh, Damn right, no. Small pebbles escape the stonework here, uh, but there is no further quivering at this time. As you reach what used to be an expansive courtyard, you notice it has been replaced with an expansive chasm. Uh, just a few 20, 25 feet away, the... Level ground disappears. However, to your left, uh, it appears as though there are a couple of buildings because this, of course, would have been the ground floor. You came from a top floor. You are now on the ground floor, essentially. And I oh. use that loosely. 
you carefully make your way down the old stone stairs uh, into what little remains of the courtyard. The ground here has deep fissures that run from the large hole in what was once the center of the complex, but several buildings to your left have survived. As you test the ground, everybody give me a perception check. Uh, 24. And Five. Manf or Haggis? Eighteen. Eighteen. Leaf and Haggis. There's a strange noise coming from the chasm. Uh, I'm going to tell the other guys, do you hear that drumming? Sounds like it's coming from down the, in, the, in the chasm. Whoop. 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 Four giant spiders emerge. Initiative. Damn, spiders. Had to be spiders. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Fourteen. Um, Seventeen. Everybody beats me. We'll start with the 17s. Copious and Leaf. Mm. Eldritch Blast. Both bolts going to the same spider. Okay. Uh, the first one was 20... Easily. 14 is your magic number. And the second one was 14. So 23 and 14. Both hit. How close are they to each other? Uh, they're relatively close. They're forming a uh, picket line. Ticket line. Yeah. One Keep does... in mind you are in the courtyard. Yeah, no. 18 total oh, damage. Uh, that is enough to blast them heartily, but not kill them. Uh, leaf 17. Um, okay, I got to look this spell up. Sorry. Some of these are new for me. <laughs> You're fine. As uh, my other players will tell you, clearly I don't do magic very well. So you're I don't right. either. That's the reason it takes me so damn long. It's hard to remember it. Robert and Manfang roll initiative. Hi, guys. Hi. 30 20. Give me a second. That's a 10. Okay. That's got a 10. I'm not cast flaming spear on whichever one's closest to me. Sure. What are we Wait, can I have an explanation of what we're fighting? Nope, that's the cost you pay when you leave my game. <laughs> uh, you guys are in the courtyard. You've gone down the stairs. And six, one for each of you, giant spiders have emerged from the chasm and are attacking you. That's so a I dex dexterity saving throw for the spider. Ooh, 19 on the roll plus... Three so easily deftly. Get a back flip. What's a good thing? Because that's that plus. I think I do it for one more. Yeah, one more. Sixteen points, so he takes half of it. Eight points to number two. Uh, playing catch up. I will take the dirty 20. Robert of Zeppelin. Uh, there appear to be six giant spiders emerging from the chasm. One for each of you. What would you like to do? Attacking the closest one. <clears throat> All attacks hit unless something's less than 20. 14 is the magic number. All right. Damage. These are easy. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to cast Lightning Storm, but I thought it was a bad idea. Seeing how the whole yeah, damn thing keeps shaking. <laughs> probably fine. Probably uh, almost killed it. Uh, FYI, did you guys blink out before you discovered the tremors? I think we were just jumping across the chasm when we blinked out. Oh, okay. Uh, a giant goat appeared, knocked Leaf in the ribs, uh, and then scurried off uh, almost knocking Buttercup to her death. Oh, uh, it was so close. And then Tremors uh, struck the fortification. You guys then went down into the lower, i.e. ground level, 
where the giant spiders are coming up. Uh, next one up is 14, Felix. Yeah, I assume that they aren't close enough to melee attack them, so I'm going to shoot an arrow at my spider, and I hit it for eight hit points. Uh, I also assume that I don't get a sneak attack because they're coming right for us. Correct. Don't worry, Felix. When Buttercup dies, I'll have a battle chicken ready for you. Thank you. Yes. If you live. Uh, next up is the 10. That would be Manfang, a.k.a. the other guy. Hi, I'm not. Why am I still the other? You haven't changed my. Can you change my name? Not until the game's over. Next week, you get a different name. Great. Make it Kathleen. Come on, princess. And, and you know, you might not like that name. I have, <laughs> I have another attack. You get 10. Right, Frankie, ten. plus. All right, that's 18. Yeah. yeah. I'm dumb. Roll again. You get two attacks. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that. Also it, it hit. It's fourteen to hit. Two so. attacks that I hit. Now damage. Die twelve times two. Come on. Drop them up. Drop them up. What is it? Eighteen. Again. Wait. How? You, Eighteen. No. Sorry. Eight. Eight. Okay. Roll again. <laughs> if you hit start, and run, C A O C. Twenty. 20. 20 total? 20, 20 total. Yeah, that hurts. Um, so that turns into a 10. Last but certainly roll. not least, Got Argus. It. I rolled a 2 on mine. Is something burning? No, that's the microwave going off. I was about to say, who's dying? I had a 4, so it's just... That buttercup? Right before I had a it. 2. Yeah, I had a 2. Um, buttercup 18 over. hit. Okay, and on the closest... Spider. Deadly spider. The um, Black Widow spider. spider. <laughs> Most deadliest breed of spider. That's 16. It's not bad at all. Who was that from? It was from uh, Mega Mind. The blue oh, head yeah. man. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. The spider. 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 Uh, unfortunately, uh, nobody killed theirs. I will go odd even with what they do. Uh, odd will indicate they rush forward and try and bite. On Felix. Uh, odd, they will attempt to bite. Uh, that is a 16 plus 3, 19. Thank God for murder hobo dice. That's six damage. Uh, odd even for Lee. Odd again. Uh, 11 plus three is only 14. Leaf. I believe that does not hit Leaf. Leaf, you're muted. No, it doesn't hit me. August. Even. Uh, they rush forward to bite you 16. Oh, I'm sorry. No, even is the other one. Uh, strength check for me, please, as it spews a web of sinewy material at you. It's basically pooping on you. Spider poop. That's a 15. Uh, it misses you and uh, sends its web over your head. Copious. Even as well, but only a seven, so not even close. Robert... Uh, even as well, 17 plus 3, dirty 20. Uh, give me your strength save. Strength save. Uh, 19 plus 5, 24. Covered in spider webs, but tears them apart quickly. Manfang is even as well with an 18. It spews its silk at you. Give me your strength check. Oh, man. It's not going to matter. It's a five. It's a uh, five plus five. Five plus five. What's the, the voluminous web strikes you and pins you to the ground. Round two with the 20. Go mm -hmm. ahead, Robert. Before you go, I wonder if these it went too quick. I wanted to use my uncanny dodge to oh. have to only take half the damage from that sure. spider attack. That'll work. Robert, you're up. Dummy. You <sighs> dummy. Yeah. Hit. Hit. 
Robert or Manfanger, are you using the blood and steel dice? Yes, he is. And your rolls suck. <laughs> yeah, I've been using the, points I've, of damage. I've been using them since you gave them to me. Anytime you think about going to Vegas, rethink it. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> no, I'm not going. Play cards. How yeah. How much you got? 18 points of damage. Uh, that's enough to kill it. Easily kill it. Uh, next up are the 17s. Copious and Leaf. I'm going to split my uh, beam two attacks to two different spiders. I'll attack my spider and then the other spider that looks the most damaged, I'm going to try to spot and hit it. Uh, man fangs. Uh, I missed man fangs, so it doesn't matter. Ah, thanks, friend. I love it. My, my spider took nine damage. And that kills it. Sorry, I was trying to I was trying to help the party out, but I only hit with the one I aimed at mine. Leave you you're up. To try to help people. I better roll that fireball right back into my spider. Okay. Dex save again. Uh not this time for me. That's six plus three, nine. So no. So that's six, four, ten, fourteen points. You're number two. Uh I'm number two. I'm number two. Good. Not good enough. Uh, next up is the 14, Felix. Yeah, I'm going to shoot another arrow at mine. Uh, it's 17 to hit, which I believe hits. You <laughs> another eight damage. Still alive. And then for my second attack, I'll attack the Man Fang one as well. Oh, look at that. I missed. You guys, you guys are just... He don't have a second attack. He's messing with you because it's so easy. Uh, but the, the good news, Man Fang, is that you're up. Your oh, Man Fang. What can I do? Uh, oh, what? Two attacks? Oh, yeah. Am I out of the bonds yet? Did I... No, oh, you got to... Well, escape. You got to escape with the strength. strength roll. What is it? Hey, help me. Help me. 18 plus... Oh, hey, hey, 23... You. Man Fang takes his turn to tear off the sinewy bonds, leading us to Haggis. I trip. Man Fang, I want you to know I was going to roll that fireball over and burn that shit off. Oh, thanks. You guys are so nice. 14. What was it? 14. Yes, that's exactly what you need. Okay. Come on, Haggis. Whip some decks on it. You knew you need to enunciate slightly better <laughs> dexterity. There you go. That's what I thought you said. Yes, correct. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. <laughs> That's fifteen this uh, time. That is enough to kill it. Congratulations. Uh, by my markings, I show three left. One I got on one. Felix, one on Leaf, and one on Manfang. On Felix. Uh, one. So, ooh, natural one. Uh, you know what? Anything lower than a five, it falls off the chasm. Eight. It almost falls off the chasm, but its uh, attack is negated. Leaf. Six, uh, six and a two. So it shoots its sinewy web high into the sky. Uh, foul ball. And finally, man fang. Three, it will bite, but only with a 14. No. My armor class is 18. Round three begins with Robert. Come on, Bob. Should I run up and kick that last spider off the edge and go, this is Sparta? Yes. With a one. With a one. With a one. <laughs> <laughs> if you Come on, Pete Rose this. Pete Rose this. Do I get to add my decks? <laughs> if it's a natural one. <laughs> oh, yeah, I rolled an 18. This is Mad Uh Give me a D6 plus your strength bonus since you're kicking it. You need six points. Seven points. Off it goes in a cinematic event. It turns uh, slow motion, and only you two are in slow motion. I would have killed for a one on that roll. Oh, no. 
Uh, yeah. And the spider grabs your foot and throws you off. Yeah, and we know who you would have killed. That's right. Copious and leave. 17, you're up. Okay, so now they skipped on. I totally pictured him shooting a sling of uh, spider web at me and dragging me with it. The, the two uh, the two worst looking spiders. Uh, yours. Uh, Mine's dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Man Fang and Leafs. All right, Man Fang and Leafs. Natural the 20 only on Leafs and 24 on Man Fangs. Okay. So I. Uh, I do a minimum of five points of damage to this leaf. Le- Leafs is dead. All right. I wasted my natural 20 on you there, Leaf. Thank and you. Man- <clears throat> Man Fangs is 10 points. Also dead. Uh, bringing us to 14. Felix uh, with the sole resident. I and thought I kicked that one off. Uh, you Remember, know what? Felix was an over on the edge. I kicked it off. I stand corrected. There's uh, none left, right? Yeah, that's it. They're all gone. Okay. I go say, I'll let my fireball go. <laughs> I appreciate you not. <laughs> uh, no, keep, keep rolling it around this little ledge we're on. Yeah. An, an, eerie, we're on. an eerie silence encompasses the area again with only your heavy breathing heard. <sighs> <laughs> and, and maybe a little bit of Sparta, Sparta. <laughs> alerting every creature in this area <laughs> hell yeah all right let's, let's uh, there are do all the spiders look the same yes because you're well, a spider I've... racist you are <laughs> a spider racist you are so spider <laughs> I don't I wonder if one of them is like poison that, that one's on tape. You're a spider racist. Does that make you feel good about yourself? Maybe, no. Maybe a little inward inflection. It's time. Uh, there are three doors to the left uh, or the chasm and you can walk back up on the curtain wall and make your trip. Well, you want to take what's behind curtain number one and go to door number one. Door number three! Number three! Number three! Number three. Number three. I'm a three, my lord. I'm a three, my lord. Sorry, that's my fault. We can split the party. I don't mind. I, I don't, don't think so. <laughs> Let's probably start with the door closest to the party. That's C3. three. One. Uh, no, C or C three is at the back. A fractured wooden door has large gaps in the wood, but there uh, that is in a severe state of decay. Oh, the I'll start to kick it. The interior. Well, you know what? D twenty. <laughs> Three. Uh, your foot is firmly locked <laughs> in the building. Uh, and go ahead and give me, oh shit, go ahead and give me a perception check. I forgot I put this one in here. Gonna, something's <laughs> going to eat you. Oh, That's man. fine. I love a good challenge. Oh, you'll love a good foot missing. Uh, 21. Oh, yeah, there's something inside there. It's eating and, foot crap. And you hear arcane words. A moment later, a fireball comes to the door and obliterates your foot. Uh, at second level, you feel a tug on your boot. Immense pain courses through your body, and eight hit points of radiant damage goes up your leg and pushes you out of the door. A moment later, the door flies open in a hideous creature looks to be demonic in nature, emerges. Everybody roll initiative. I like it. Let's get started. Wait. Natural uh, 20, baby. And I went the exact opposite of natural 20. I want a natural 1. 21. <laughs> fitting. I am on the ground. I got a 7. 17. 9. Natural 20. Oh, that 20 goes first. As you see Robert of Zeppelin knocked back on his ass, uh, the door flies open and something of incredible evil, evil steps through. What would you like to do, man thing? First, I would like to grab my battle axe and run at it while pointing and laughing at Robert and going, ha! I want him to roll like to see if he trips. And I want to see if he trips. Not paying attention. Uh, Laugh from the kid from The Simpsons. 
the the one who bullies Bart. I want to laugh like that and point at Robert. Okay. This so you're attacking. Attack. Yes, I'm attacking. All right, roll. What'd that roll? one was a nat twenty. Uh, just so you guys know, Is this this thing emerges from the door. Ah! <laughs> oh, that, was, that was a bad idea running at it. Way to charge it. That was a bad idea, but I already got a nat 20 on one of the hits. Yeah, sure. Next hit. Braver uh, man than I. 17, so that's three hits. Or three, uh, two hits. Three damage. damage. Two hits, three damage. So do your first one first. Roll your damage. Damage. So that's damage, plus. damage, add. Damage. So 12, that's what? Seven? Damage. Eight, 15 plus. Add five. So that's 20 points for the first one. Roll next damage. Damage. Three, eight. So that's 28 points of damage. 28. Nicely done. Give me a perception roll. What is it? 13 so plus. Perception is plus four. Four. So that's a 17. 17. Everybody sees Man Fang charge in and deal two slashing uh, attacks to this creature, and he turns and yells, There's two! <laughs> <laughs> no! Let's go with the 21 Haggis. Right. Or no, Copious, right? Copious. So before I roll my attack, it, can I roll an Arcana check to see if I know what this thing is? It's going to have to be super high, but go ahead. I didn't know if it's something that would be common in the area. It's not high enough. I'm going to, it's ugly and it's evil. So I'm attacking with both beams at the one that attacked uh, Robert and came through the door. Sure, first one out. Uh, so the first attack was 20 something. I mean, it was. I'm more interested in the second attack, I think. <laughs> Uh, there's you. only one person between you and that, so you will hit Manifang. I rushed in to save the day, and what do I get? A stab in the back. The statue will be glorious. Four, <laughs> points. Four points, uh, Eldritch Blast to the back of Manfang's head. You, know, you guys are just big jerks. You guys. And then 14 oh, points up. to uh, the creature. 14? 14. 14. Wow. Max damage. Got it. Uh, next up is the 17, I That's believe it is Leaf. So uh, Manfang yelled that there's two of them? Yep. Can I see the other one in there? Uh, not yet, but you will. Can I you step go. to a point where I can see it? Uh, it's kind of dark in that room. Uh, go ahead and roll perception at disadvantage. That's a 20. And that's a 21. Yeah, you see it. You see the uh, okay. feeble outline of it. Trying to find my spell. There it is. I think I know why the nuns didn't want to come. Um, I'm going to cast Bane on the two of them. Okay. Oh, hello, Batman. Okay, and that one is... They might have to. Make the only one who did that. Yeah. Or thought of that. You're the only one who did it. You're. <laughs> That's a good one. That's good. They have to make a charisma saving throw. Uh, <laughs> when they make an attack roll, <laughs> otherwise they roll a die four and subtract that number from the attack roll or saving throw. Cool. That works. Uh, uh, the second one emerges and they attack. Uh, we will go with. I will cast two Bane on Leaf from one of them. Uh, DC 12 versus Wisdom is the modifier. And I will attack two Leaf physically okay. uh, with a five. That isn't even remotely So close. I've got to roll uh, my DC 12 or DC yeah. Wisdom? When you attack. Okay, so, no problem. Uh, I didn't even roll the my save because it's a five. Right. So uh, Nine 
Felix. Okay, uh, I will attack the one that's attacking Leaf by shooting an arrow at it. Do I get my... Sneak uh, attack? Yes. Yeah. Sweet. Then I rolled a natural D. Nice. For... In 22 hit points. Very nice. Uh, next up is the seven, Hagas Crapstain. Hey. Are, are you like from the 70s with your TV antenna? One of those weird <laughs> do this, do I not do this? Can you hear me? Can you not hear me? So I'm just, yeah, yeah um, 16. Easily hits. Well, not easily, but it hits. Kill it. Uh, are you going after the one with the arrow in it or the other one? The arrow one. Okay. FYI, the original hit was on the one not with the arrow on it. 16, 17. 17. Finally, last but not least, our purveyor of ones, Robert of Zeppelin. 17. Hits. 15 is your magic number to hit these things. Thank God. All right. Nasty old witch bolt coming at you. Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo. 33 hit points. Arrow, not arrow. Not arrow. That's the, That's the first one out the door, right? Yep. Yeah, you can help me. Uh, hey, it's up to me. It was. You, you said 35? 33. Dead. Top of the order. Natural 20. The other guy. Oh, it's my turn. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> The other uh, guy. Oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> right right there on the screen. Oh, buddy. Good. Good to it. New name. So the first one that I attacked is dead. Yes. Correct. Second one is out the door. Yep, it's attacking me. It so, has an arrow in it. All right, I guess I'll be charging it. Yes. Are you going to climb up the other old dead one and jump off and attack? That sounds really cool. It might be a good idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not touching that dead arachnid. I can't swing say and those hit. Words. Swing and hit, buddy. Nope. Wait, wait, wait. What is it? It's a four. Okay, that's twelve. You missed. Hit it. Roll again. Second attack. It's a five. Five does, plus does, eight. Does Thirteen. Nope. nope. Fifteen to hit. This is gar. Now, this is more gar importantly, you, you, are you now between me and it? Yes. Again. Yeah. I just want to make sure before I roll these dice. Go ahead, Copius. You're up again. You've got a perfect opportunity to end so it. I rolled three. I was really close. <laughs> Is this the one that attacked me originally? No. Uh, 11 okay. more points of damage. Uh, next up, 17. Leaf. Me, me. Now, you said I need to roll against my wisdom. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a 17. So, yeah, no penalty. <laughs> and attack. I'm attacking with my axes. We'll be ending after this. That's an 18. And that is a 20. Um, remember what to roll. Die 8. And a die 8. A 7 and 4 is 11. Plus 2 is 13. 13. Uh, me. You. Or copious. Ha. That's a good person. Ooh, eighteen plus five. 20. Did you roll? Did you roll your? You had to roll um against that's, the die four. I, I have not. So I roll the d four. Yeah. Subtract that from your attack. Uh, so 19. So it's uh, birth of shit. shit. Uh, I hate to do this to you, but I'm gonna roll three murder hobos. <laughs> he doesn't hate it, don't let him kid you. No, not at all. Uh, six piercing damage, 11 and 
and three fourteen poison damage. So what's the so six piercing plus fourteen poison? Yep. So twenty total. I'm gonna use my reaction to to uh, cast hellacious rebuke. So he Fair needs enough. to make a DC fifteen or take damage from hellacious rebuke. Do I? What's my modifier? Because that's a fourteen. Uh, hold on one second. I always forget the charisma. <clears throat> my spell. My spell. If that's a saving throw. You've got to roll a die four. Doesn't matter. I get zero, so I fail. Okay. Oh, so then you're taking three die ten damage. Do you want me to roll it, or you want to roll it? Nope, it's all you because you're probably going to kill me here. Uh, twelve and mm-hmm. nine, so twenty-one points of rebuke damage. <clears throat> Uh, as you watch the stinger go into Copius's chest, uh, you see him well up the arcane magic and uh, Marvel or DC superhero, uh, the spider off into the building uh, where it once belonged. But you can tell that there are various uh, pieces of it everywhere, noting that it's dead. Who wants to peek into the room? Um, I nominate Robert. Um, yeah, Robert, you do. It. Screw. Uh, all right, I was gonna heal him copious, him but the door. You know, if, if you don't want me to heal copious, I'll look no, into wait, the room. Wait, what? Does <coughs> copious not get a vote in this? He's poisoned. Oh. He's had shale damage. He looks like he's been through a I'm, ginsu I'm factory. Gonna, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast lesser restoration on copious and heal the poison. I'm at minus 75% hit points, and most of it shale damage. I was trying to heal you, and everybody told me I need to peek in the room. You, you look like the guy out of uh, The Road to Perdition when it blew up in his face. <laughs> Only it's everywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's looking bad. All right, Frank, die for. All right, Jason, you get 19 hit points back. Ooh, I'll take that. And I took the poison off you. Yeah. Who's looking into the the room? Well, I'll look in the room now. I'm done doing that. Uh, this appears to be dry storage for foodstuffs when the keep was intact. Uh, there are There is a minimal amount of rotted food as the structure has been down below for quite some time. Yeah, it would have. No insect life. Uh, a few... S- Sparse grains are scattered along the wooden floor of the structure. Uh, and that is it. Everybody roll perception. That is 12. 19. 30, 20. I also got 12. Copious. 10. Felix, Leaf. A slight creaking is heard underfoot as Lee peers into this. What do I see anything on the floor? A few smattering of grains of Is that a wooden floor or stone floor? It is a wooden floor. I'm gonna do it and uh, search that do I see a trap door of any kind? Uh, as you venture into this area, go ahead and give me a perception. Oh, I'm going to be sorry. Uh, 16, 24. In between two of the floor planks, you notice nothing but darkness. <laughs> like there's no ground there at all. That seems reassuring. We should throw something on it, like a rock. I'm going to cast Detect Magic. Nothing. Not a thing. Hey, is there any big boulders around? Is there anything to make a makeshift tool or weapon? I, yeah, I'm going to take gonna, a boulder. I'm There's gonna some step, outside. I'm going to step back outside and tell everybody that there appears to be open space under the wooden floor in there, but there's no door to get down to it. So it may be in one of the other inside one of the other doors. Well, what if we just make a door with this rock? Yeah, that ain't going to do it. Yeah, well, just watch me. I'm going to walk in the room with my rock. Okay. Are you trying to commit suicide? No, but I'm going to stand outside of you. <laughs> and then the character, the door, get into character I'm going to grab it. Now. I'm going to throw it in the room and then run away. 
He's that guy that sits on the uh, limb and cuts the inside portion. Give me a strength check on your throw. (laughs) What do I? I I, You're twenty sided, and that—that's not. Don't roll one. (laughs) Then add your strength. Roll a (laughs) twenty. That is an eighteen plus five. Uh, you take it, you hoist the old crenellation above your head, Ugh! you fling it in, the old timber snaps, and the rock <laughs> careens through. There is a hole in the floor indicating that there is zero ground underneath this. Wind. Okay, guys, we shouldn't go in there. We I should have I don't say go back in there now. And that, I think, is a good stopping. Yes, place. sir. Uh, Man Fang, what'd you think? I thought it was fantastic. I thought I played my part as Man Fang. The other, other guy. guy. The other I guy. I, I think I played it fantastically. When you were here. When I was <laughs> when you were here. Robert, what'd you think? I liked it. Lots of action. I got to blow somebody up. Killed a bunch of people. You it was a somebody? good day. You blowed somebody? I blowed somebody up. We didn't get to burn anything. Homicide. Oh, I burned a spider. I burned a spider. I bur- I, well, I yeah, you burned a spider. I was trying to burn somebody. You wouldn't let me burn the evidence. Copious. <laughs> I just keep hearing the theme song to Law and Order, Cragwitch. Have you seen Resident Alien on Sci-Fi? I have not. Highly recommend, and you will get the joke immediately. Uh, Alan Tudyk is an alien who learned all his English from Law and Order. Oh, and yeah. Goes, dun, dun, That's got to be good. <laughs> Uh, uh, Haggis, what'd you think? <laughs> what about like how to catch a Cragwitch per- predator or something? That's right, you Brian Williams. <laughs> no, that's your feelings. <laughs> you can't. I don't want to be on this show. <laughs> my, my name is Chris Hansen. <laughs> take a seat. Take a seat. Just take a seat. Hello, Haggis. Have a seat. Leave what do you think? <laughs> I think this bunch is getting worse. As <laughs> Why would you think that? Uh, I, I think we're, we're playing out. very well the character, but I'm a little disappointed that that wasn't oil shale we were walking through. Because right, then I'd have had something to set fire to. If, if you had a petroleum expert, you might know whether or not that's oil shale. Yeah, or not. that's true. Uh, and then yeah, you can die true. in the inferno. Exactly. Uh, last but certainly not least, Felix, what would you think? I had fun. I think we need to not be so mean to all the NPCs that we come across. Some of them might be helpful. However, uh, Phineas Latrec did leave a <laughs> terrible taste in our mouth, so it's understandable why we... No, whoa, 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 whoa. He may he, have left a bad taste in your mouth. Taste in your mouth. Taste in your mouth. Your mouth just threw it. No, sir. Oh, never no, mind. Uh, okay, wow. never mind. Bad choice of words. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. The Margu oh. Campaign. Oh. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our crap, go ahead. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join us on Discord. Thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for customized dice that I didn't need to use against these guys because they hurt themselves. And, of course, the game didn't stink, but uh, there might be a spider chasm sent out there for Adventure Sense through oddfishgames.com, so check that out. Tuesday, we have our favorite, the Iron DM, where random tables are used, and our panel comes up with an adventure on the spot. And, of course, next Saturday is a one-shot, so if you are interested in either one of those, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on there. For all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., we hope the rest of your weekend goes well. Let's give them the dating game kiss and get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> <laughs>